Those who worked alongside Mike Clark are paying tribute to his life and all the laughter that he brought. Glad you're with us tonight at six. He was an unlikely media star, I think you'd say. Former coroner's wagon driver and the Mishcon utility employee. Mike Clark died last night in his sleep. His passing was unexpected as he was just 63 years old. And today, his longtime radio colleagues who continue to do the Drew and Mike show forged on without him, they took time to speak with uh, Rod Maloney. Rod, tough day for a lot of people. Yeah, you know, it, it, but these are the people who spend a lot of time laughing at life, and so they're they're spending more time on that than they are on the sad part of this. But that doesn't mean they're not sad. Well, this is these are the steps of the house where they do the Drew and Mike podcast, and they just did one here. They were on the air for a couple of hours, or at least on the internet, and uh, we talked to them just as they were getting ready to go and do their show about what they're going to miss about Mike Clark. Who in their right mind? But yes, a two-point conversion. All. My God. The Drew and Mike Show, which will always keep that name, by the way, opened with the gravelly-voiced Spartan fan, Mike Clark, and his take on the Michigan-Michigan State football rivalry, certainly fitting this week. Drew Lane reacted to Clark's passing. Uh, you know, everybody's numb. It was uh, just so sad. Lane admits Clark was quirky and yet had a great sense of humor about it, and most recently was trying to get healthy. Mike's had health issues the last couple of years, pretty serious. His vocal cords were frozen. He had problems with breathing because of that. Um, but it seemed like everything was coming together and he was going to doctors, which he was very against. Trudy Daniels sat next to Clark for a generation and she too is sad today, but working with Mike's memory at the fore. It was, I was a great show because of Mike Clark and all of the elements involved and and I'm eating a Dove bar in memorial to Mike because he loved Dove bars and grape juice. Mike, are you are you ready? I'm not ready, Drew, but here we go. Here's the big <laughs> double thumbs Drew up. Drew says Mike would have loved all the attention he's getting tonight. And yes, Detroit is poor because of his passing. Yeah, I will absolutely miss him. I mean, he's very, very private and very much a hermit, but um, we always stayed in contact and it was always all about fun and all about laughs. Well, Lane pointed out that Clark uh, was uh, the kind of guy who started late in this business. He was 37 years old after working all kinds of other jobs. He was doing uh, characters on the phone, and that's how they were attracted to him. And before he knew it, he was actually working on the show. They have one story that they like to tell, the number one favorite story. And apparently, uh, he had fallen asleep in a salad three times. Not once, but three times. And so they played that today. And I checked the WRIF website, and they have it up there, too, as well for all of his listeners if they want to go back and relive that moment. So back to you. Salads too, so not all uh, Dove bars and uh, grape juice. But uh, Drew and, and Trudy, I guess Rod knew better than uh, just about anyone about what made Mike so unique on the air. Well, yeah, that's what they said. He was this unique character uh, in all the world. They said that he loved his wife of 40 years. He loved his dog, his parents, his sister, and, uh, and grape juice, Dove bars, and Jimi Hendrix was on uh, that yeah, list. Yeah, well. of course. All right, good stuff.